Stay away from direct heat, they say. But what if you are like me and require a little heat to keep your hair stretched and fairy knots away? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use these three heating tools to blow dry my hair safely. So if you're interested in learning how to prevent damage when blow drying your hair, keep watching. <laughs> First up is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. This blow dryer costs about $37 to $45 on Amazon. It gives me blow dryer meets paddle brush vibes. In my opinion, it's a high manipulation heating tool that has the potential to cause damage if overused or used when the balls on the bristles wear off. That being said, it was my go-to blow dryer for years until my stylist recommended the next blow dryer. So I'm gonna show you how I use this blow dryer safely. Starting on freshly washed hair, I finger detangle my hair, then I mist my hair with water, apply heat protectant, and detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb. This preps my hair for a seamless, safe blow dry experience. Now it's time to blow dry. I start by stretching or pulling my hair to create tension. I blow dry both sides of the section for 30 to 45 seconds on the cool setting. Now I know I'm guilty of doing this, but try not to hold the blow dryer in one spot and keep the dryer a short distance from your hair strands. Next, I'll do a few passes on cool. Then I change the setting to the low heat setting. I focus on my roots. And then when my roots are stretched to my liking, I take the blow dryer down the full length of my hair strands. You wanna minimize the amount of times you run the brush through your ends to protect it from breakage or damage. Remember, your ends are the oldest part of your hair, so you need to proceed with caution to retain your length and avoid damage. Once I'm done with the whole quarter of a section, I do a few more passes on the cool or low heat setting. I try to stay away from the high heat setting unless I'm planning to straighten my hair. This is the method I use when I simply wanna stretch my hair for protective styling. So this is the finished section, and yes, I'm due for a trim and we'll see my stylist in December, so I'm looking forward to that. Up next is the Conair Pro Yellow Bird Hair Dryer. This blow dryer costs around $50 on Amazon and is one powerful hair dryer. Most of my stylists use this blow dryer to prep my hair for sew-ins and knotless braids. It comes with a concentration nozzle and a comb attachment, which will come in handy when stretching or trying to like blow dry your hair straight in preparation for something like a silk press. Again, this is one of my faves because of how hot it gets, how straight it gets your hair when using the hot setting and how fast it dries your hair. That being said, it's also a high manipulation heating tool because of the comb attachment, so you have to be very careful. This was the blow dryer that replaced my Revlon One Step blow dryer. After prepping my hair, I put the dryer on this setting, low heat, low speed. Using the concentration nozzle and the tension method, I blow dry my hair in a downward direction, the same direction of my hair cuticles when closed. I do this until my hair is pretty stretched. If you are into tension method, you can keep doing this, eventually focusing on your ends until it's completely stretched to your liking. I want more of a blown out, straighter, smoother look, so I'm going to switch to the comb attachment and turn the speed, not heat, up just a bit. So the key is to use the tension method on low heat, low speed to stretch your hair with minimal heat or exposure to the elements. Then if you're comfortable taking it a step further, use the comb attachment with as few passes as possible. Remember, increasing the speed may subject your hair to the elements that make your hair more prone to damage or breakage. Think of your hair being blown in the wind. So you wanna minimize the amount of time you spend on high heat, even if you have the blow dryer on a low temperature setting. My hair is a lot coarser in the back here at the roots, so I turn the speed down and focus on blowing out my roots until the comb runs through the section with ease. Finally, the Rev Air. I just posted a review on this dryer a couple of weeks ago. The link for that review will be in the card and description bar. The Rev Air is expensive, but worth the coin because it stretches your hair with ease, zero breakage, and really fast. For more of my thoughts on the Rev Air, check out my full review. So the steps are simple. All you need to do is prep your hair as we did with all the other sections. Make sure your sections aren't too big or too small. Then insert your hair into the wand. 
I like to use the low heat setting and the highest tension, which is seven. Then you wait 90 seconds. Make sure you're massaging the wand at your roots so that your roots get straight in. And voila, you're done. Again, very simple process. I really like the Rev Air because it basically allows you to do the tension method with little to no effort. And you're not having to over manipulate your hair with a comb attachment or brush attachment or anything like that. And so this blow dryer has been the blow dryer that has pretty much replaced the other two blow dryers that I use. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. If you have any tips on how to blow dry hair safely, drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.